That's fine. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Welcome, Claire. Hi. And <laughs> um, so obviously your name is Claire. Claire, do you want to share with us who you are and what you do? Yeah, sure. So I'm a Pilates instructor. I'm also now um, a qualified NLP practitioner. And I also am a, what I call a transformational coach. Um, so now I've incorporated the NLP with my background in exercise for the last 18 years to devise a program specifically for midlife ladies to help with hormonal imbalances and changes that the body's going through. So a mindset and exercise program together. Yeah, and go on. God, sorry, I also work as a skin practitioner. So I work in a private hospital as well, looking after people with severe skin conditions. And it's amazing what you do, because I know before before now you started talking about how um, the women that you work with, how you support their mindset and how you now create a daily um, a daily practice for them. Do you want to talk to us a little bit about that? Sure. Um, what I realised was a lot of people who do exercise do it with the intentions of... Um, just doing it to feel like they've done something so if it's if it's hard if it's painful they feel like they've done something but when you get to midlife it's actually the reverse it can actually cause a lot of damage and stress on the body and the stress then sort of stores uh, a lot of excess hormones which then stores a lot of excess fat um, so ladies were exercising incorrectly but also when you get to that age you become very unassured of yourself of your confidence levels drop um, you don't really accept where you are in life and you're kind of struggling and looking back a lot. So I found that the NLP allowed me to devise a program called Live Better where they spend four weeks with me and every day they get an LLP intention, a life hack, a quotation or something to do that day that will get their mindset right. So the thinking and obviously with it being 28 days then it becomes more of a habit that they start to think more positively and look at what they're doing. It's amazing. It's so amazing how much you've implemented what you've learned into your business. And I love seeing how when our students come out of the other end, how they really like run with it and you were completely ran with it. And um, you also mentioned that you're doing a weekly coaching call as well with your students. How, how have you found that? I find that helps tremendously because um, in fitness, I think unless you're accountable for your actions, sometimes you think, well, you know, if you don't see it, it doesn't happen. Or So I feel that that personal contact, especially in these times where I can't see them physically, is really important to the client to know that they're supported and that I'm there for them, really. And, you know, I've gone through what they're going through and I can empathise with them and also use my NLP learning to help their mindset at the end of the week because come the end of the week we're going into a weekend they want to go and start drinking and eating loads again so that weekly call is really good just to pick up those positive vibes again with them remind them why they're doing it and uh, yeah I find that that actual personal contact is is important for them and for me to keep them on track yeah yeah it sounds like you've really really like taken the NLP and pushed it as much as you possibly can to give your clients some really really amazing value it sounds amazing thank you yeah. yeah I'm finding it's working really well yeah so in terms of the course then because I know you you went through the online elements of the course and you did join us on the weekly live sessions which was amazing it was amazing to have you um, and you're always welcome as well to rejoin them at any point we've got people and students at all levels on them weekly calls um, but based on like before you did the course and what your expectations were what is the like the difference in what your expectation was and what you actually received through going through the course okay um it was at the beginning a lockdown so I was having a lot of doubts myself in terms of my own personal what is my life about <laughs> where am I going what do I want to do next you know those big questions that you ask yourself at certain changes in your life and um for me the big learning was that my perception um I'm I, I'm somebody who's always believed in right or wrong and that's either right or that is wrong and what I learned on NLP is that's not necessarily the case it's my perception of my learnings that's made me believe in certain things and other people have different understanding so if I rounded it up I'd say it's made me a kinder person and um, certainly more positive but I'd say kinder more empathetic and have a better understanding of 
the world and how people feel and, and think really so yeah it, the online was for me at first quite difficult because I'm not great with technology but through this whole experience as, as I've just said I've got online now I have my own application for my business and yeah it's allowed me to it's gently and slowly got me into using technology so that's been great as well it's brilliant it's brilliant because obviously with the NLP stuff it's really hands-on and you've got to implement as you learn and um, so it's good to know that as you're going through even though it's an online course it's still an experience that you're experiencing it's not yeah. just like you log on and, and that's it it's a full immersive experience yeah I found the um like you said the dial-ins the the coaching that was live kind of cemented the learning because you could see it for real and see it in practice and and that's good because like the, the styles of behavior and the way we all learn I'm very much a visual person so seeing somebody else talk it through and rather than just reading it was really important to me so yeah it, the fact that you've got all those areas covered was great yeah and you were a demo subject weren't you for the likes to dislikes <laughs> I did, yeah I did. Blood in <laughs> <laughs> So tell us, um, I know we can't talk about it too much because um, we haven't got loads of time, but the technique that we did was um, likes to dislikes, which was where we took something that you really liked, that you wanted to stop liking and change the way you thought about it and your perception of it into something that you disliked. How is that going for you? Yeah, it, def it definitely worked initially very well because it was probably nearly two weeks before I even looked at red wine again. <laughs> got to be I am back on the red wine, um, but it, it's definitely not in the same stance that it was before. Yeah, definitely. I do see it slightly differently. It yeah. Definitely flicked a switch inside. Yeah, because I know previously it was like you said it was it was becoming too much. So it yeah. sounds like it worked from what you're saying, like it's you're definitely not on it as much as you were. No, no, it kind of just, like I say, it stopped completely for a couple of weeks and now it's like just socially. So it's, it does make a difference. It, it was a different trigger, definitely. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks for sharing that. Um, okay, so in terms of the course then and like your experience of going through it, what would you say to somebody who might be thinking about joining the course but is not quite sure about it? I'd say from a personal point of view, it gives you a very deep understanding of yourself. It allows you to understand um, how the bind works and how other people's minds work and how we interpret things so it gives you a very good scope for learning a lot of self-development um, but the scope of how you can use it within any industry any business can only make you better um, I know it's given my industry my my own sort of because I teach Pilates and I do the fitness a massive boost because that's my difference is that I have a really good understanding of how my clients minds work and I'm able to work with that first and once I've got them thinking differently then they act differently so yeah it, it's making huge successes um, in terms of getting their guaranteed results yeah I'm brilliant I'm so pleased you say that because it's really important to ensure that you know you're going through it and learning how to apply it to your industry and it's not just like a cutty cutter approach where you know because some people say to me like well what's the difference between your course and um a kids nlp course and sometimes it's hard to explain the difference but overall it's that in my course i'll teach you everything you need to know so that you could go away and teach the kids nlp course like yeah. and the same for you like you could go away and, and teach a, a nlp fitness course like it's it's the way that the course is built and I'm sure that you'll agree is that you learn everything you need to learn to apply to sales to apply to your business to apply to communication to apply to mindset yeah exactly and that that's exactly what I took from it it was kind of initially it was for me um but also because I wanted to develop my own business and and work on that and you know long term I've lots of plans where I intend to help a lot of people and that's what I found my um purpose when we were doing the courses and the purpose and the passion was my common denominator was that I want to help people and NLP allows me to do that multifold yeah oh it's so amazing <laughs> oh brilliant thanks so much for sharing this with us and um, if there's anything that you'd want to leave anyone with what would it be I would say if you're thinking about doing the course and the fact that you're thinking about it just do it it's worth it 
Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome, Rebecca. Yay.